awareness programs are very critical because breast cancer in the past was seen as cancer of the elite, of the few, not for ordinary people. It's one of the things which we need to talk about every day now. We need also to make sure as it rises, we destigmatize because there's also the stigmatization of cancer these days. When people check themselves or realize that they've been told they've got cancer, they're scared of talking about it because they think that uh, and the others are going to feel that they're going to be affected or it's go they're going to be discriminated. So these are the issues for us as a country to educate our people, also to emphasize the issue of living well. Health matters are very, very critical these days if we have to really fight this rising cancer challenge we're facing as a country in our communities. An activation like this uh, to us is an enhancing our Shokomela program, uh, which is a program that says, take care. We formed the women desk. We have also a contract signed with the department to make sure that uh, we make ranks available. We make uh, our owners also available to attend. And also we make ourselves available uh, to, to come and, and, and support. We, we wish that uh, Almost every day, 365 days, we can be at each and every taxi rent to make sure that a driver, owner, commuter, a leader, a executives, they understand that uh, we need people live, meaning in, the, in terms of health uh, as well, uh, in, in, in order for us to grow and keep growing. Here in Johannesburg, we are we're having Fortunately, three dedicated uh, breast units, uh, and these are primarily surgical breast units. We're having centralized oncological services, and uh, unavoidably, once in a while, we are developing backlogs. We're having broken uh, uh, radiation machines at the Charlotte Macaque Hospital. This will affect everybody, and uh, I think it needs uh, really a concerted effort of a lot of different uh, uh, role players to make it a smooth experience for the patient. We should focus on, on the needs of, of our people and uh, I think this is a great, uh, great place to address the needs of our people. This is a global issue and uh, there is no reason that Japanese, Japan doesn't support. I think this is a very important initiative. That's why we support since 2014. We provided this vehicle with a mammography unit. I think the public awareness is the most important. That's why we are providing two vehicles to raise public awareness. We've got three mobile units, we've got seven educational vehicles. Today, with the Embassy of Japan, we've announced that um, we're going to have now two mobile women's units which will be focusing or be able to deliver and help in the cervical cancer space. We'll be doing pap smears. It's very easy to get around in a, in a commuter bus. A nurse can go and do the necessary medical tests that are needed. This campaign is important to continue contactize, create that awareness to our community at large. But in our case, we need to make sure that we also contactize our LGBTI, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgendered, and intersex community with regard to HIV AIDS and other health related issues. What Pink Drive is doing is absolutely amazing, it's fantastic and I wish more health workers would get involved with the Pink Drive initiatives. We see a lot of cervical cancer for example and it's a kind of cancer that is preventable and it is just the kind of information that must be out in the public and we find that more and more women first of all are not coming through to the clinics to the healthcare centers maybe also from the healthcare side we're not giving information in the way that they understand it we're not providing the services in the way that is comfortable and accessible for them there is no reason absolutely no reason that women in 2018 should be dying of cervical cancer it's good that we have such campaigns 
they relieve us of the burden of disease, especially the cancer, as we know that it's one of the killer diseases in our country. Such initiative helps because, yes, we test in the facilities, we do screening in the facilities, but it's not enough and we won't be able to do it alone. We need the support from partners. Currently, we are in urban areas as Johannesburg Health District. It's sort of like not enough because we are not reaching the entire community because some are in the households, they don't come to our clinics, so we need to go to them and provide the service. In this kind of an environment, they are relaxed, they are with their friends, they are with their husbands. It's so nice and it's a, it's, it's a safe environment. If it's in the facility, they are annoyed, there's these cues, they sort of like, when are they going to see me? There's a health promoter here saying this and this, and the messages are not sinking in through. The way medicine is also changing, the way we are breaking down the messages so that people who actually need them can access them. And I look forward to more exciting work with Pink Drive and all the initiatives that support the wellness of women so that women can actually live their lives absolutely.